we look at the world map, which we've been watching this week, it has now spread to 11 countries, and the World Health Organization says there are 331 confirmed cases with thousands more suspected. If we move to the United States, we see now 17 states affected here, 131 cases and one death, according to the Centers for of Disease Control and state health officials. And over 160,000 children are not in classrooms this morning because their schools have been closed. Local, state, and federal officials are scrambling to stay ahead of this virus. And ground zero in that effort is the command center of the Department of Health and Human Services. CBS News correspondent Nancy Cordes joins us live from there with the latest. Good morning, Nancy. Good morning, Maggie. Here in the Operations Center, they are working 24-7 to gather the latest information on this case. They're putting together briefing books every morning for the secretary with the latest developments. And they're also tracking exactly where these cases are popping up, both here in the U.S. and internationally. This morning, they're telling us that 350 schools are now shut down in 17 states. The virus has even touched the Obama administration, an Energy Department staffer who traveled to Mexico preparing for the president's trip three weeks ago has contracted the flu. He never came close enough to the president to pass it on, but his family was not as lucky. Individual family members suffered mild to moderate symptoms, received no medication, were not hospitalized, and have recovered. The government is purchasing 13 million additional courses of Tamiflu and Relenza to replace the millions of courses of the antiviral flu medications it has distributed to the states. It's also sending 400,000 courses to Mexico to assist with the outbreak there. This new virus, this virus that we're dealing with now, is sensitive to both Relenza and Tamiflu. It is a strain of a virus that we have never seen before uh, in humans. In fact, we've never really seen it before at all. As educators try to slow the spread of the disease, more than 160,000 children are now being told to stay home from school, including some schools in Washington state, where a 33-year-old pediatrician with allergy symptoms saw patients and their parents before she became ill enough to seek treatment. Test results are pending, but officials believe she has the H1N1 virus. According to the latest figures here at the command center, there are now 91 confirmed cases of H1N1 virus in 11 states, but they say those numbers are changing all the time.